Hello and welcome to our third lesson in our course on basic systematic material selection. In today's lesson, we're going to showcase how ANSYS selection software like Granta EduPack can be used to screen and rank materials using visual material property charts. Let's quick remember what screening and ranking are. Once we've taken our design problem statement and translated it into our function, constraints, objectives, and free design parameters, we're left staring at all engineering materials. Screening and ranking, the next two steps in our selection methodology, can help us tackle this. Screening is the process of taking our constraints and removing unsuitable or unacceptable materials from consideration. Once we've removed the materials that cannot meet our design criteria, we can move on to ranking. This is where we take the materials that are left over and rank or order them based on our objectives, maximizing or minimizing various material properties to optimize the performance of our design based on the function. Now, comparing material data in tables and handbooks can be quite cumbersome, as we saw in our material selection using Ashby Tart's innovation course. Both Granta EduPack and Granta Selector were designed to support using the Ashby selection methodology as a logical way to screen and rank materials using visual property charts. For today's course, we're going to be using Granta EduPack to demonstrate these functionalities. If you have access to the software and are able to follow along, we highly recommend that you do so. Please note that your charts and numbers might look slightly different depending on which version and database you're using. If you're unfamiliar with how to use Grant EduPack, particularly the chart and limit functions that we're going to be using today, we encourage you to check out the materials learning playlist on the ANSYS Learning YouTube channel. Here you can find tutorials on how to use the software. We'll also link this on the references tab in this course. Let's start with screening materials in Grant EduPack. I will be using our level two engineering database for this demonstration. The functions within EduPack that allow us to screen and rank our materials using property charts can be found here under chart select. We can see here in this project that we're considering a hundred materials in our selection right now. Certainly too many materials to do an in-depth research for our final selection. To screen materials, we can use a limit stage. For this demo, we want a material that is a good electrical conductor and has acceptable resistance to both fresh and salt water. We can see after removing all materials that aren't good electrical conductors, that we have now 27 materials considered in our selection instead of 100. This is pretty good. After removing materials that have unacceptable resistance to fresh and salt water from our consideration, we now only have 20 materials left that fit our criteria. Now that we have screened or removed unsuitable materials based on our design constraints, we can move on to ranking. Let's say for this particular design, we need to maximize specific strength, which is yield strength over density. This represents the best performance for a light and strong cable intention, for example. We will use a property chart with yield strength on the y-axis and density on the x-axis for our ranking. To add clarity, we will remove our unsuitable materials, which are these little gray ovals, and rescale our chart. We can see that for our objective of high strength and low density, we need to focus up here in the upper left-hand quadrant. But this isn't very exact. How can we be more precise? We will cover this in more detail in our performance indices course, but we can use an index line here to indicate the direction where the best performing materials are found. To consider both maximum strength and minimum density with equal importance, or a one-to-one -one relationship, the slope of my index line is 1. EduPack is built for using index lines and other techniques to find the best performance for materials in components with different functions. We can use this interactive line with slope 1 to maximize our selection. I'm going to stop the line here, showcasing four top candidates left. Age-hardened wrought aluminum alloys, an aluminum silicon carbide composite, and both cast and wrought magnesium alloys. 
Now I can do further research to learn more about these materials, their processing compatibility, and other key properties to make my final decision. I can even put this data for a few top material candidates into a simulation software, like ANSYS Mechanical or ANSYS Discovery, to perform FEA and determine the free design parameter needed for each option. And with that, we've reached the end of our lesson. We've shown how we can use the tools within grant to edupack to screen and rank our materials based on various constraints and objectives. Up next, we have the last lesson in our course. We're gonna be taking the entire selection methodology and applying it to a real world example and showcasing how this can be fit into a simulation design workflow. My name is Caitlin Tyler. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.